fucking mail. Foul smelling, stinking, stench. <laughs> a very unpleasant smell. That is what the enemy is trying to do. A very unpleasant smell. Something that is putrid. They call it putrid night. Fetid. The medical term for what I'm trying to describe is maludurus. Maludurus. When around this person, all oh, that people can feel around them is just a foul smell, a stench. They are stinking. Somebody will just begin suddenly to start stinking and smelling such that people don't want to come near them. Regatu makasia liaragada. Odor and stink that make people to run away from them. Ah. Now, this person does not even know that they are carrying this kind of stench, this kind of stinky personality, stinking lies. People will walk into their life and suddenly will immediately walk away immediately. They will walk away immediately. And they don't even know why. People are exiting their life suddenly because there's this odor that the enemy has planted around them that is making them to stink. Those who want to help them, they stink to them. Those who want to, who are supposed to be connected to them, they stink. They carry this stinking personality. People generally don't want to associate with them. They walk away from their lives. Now, with this kind of foul smelling spirit, you will repair good things without any apparent cause. Good things will be, will be far from this kind of person. That is what the enemy is planning. And this, I just began, began to hear in my spirit, pray, pray, pray. Foul smelly spirit around that person is a curse. It's a curse that the enemy is bringing into somebody's life. And we have to rise up this morning and pray. Hallelujah. This person, there's no apparent cause for it. There's no reason for it. But you just find this person, people can't come near them. People cannot connect with them. People cannot relate to them. People cannot start. This person... They, they, they have relationships, relationships will break down all of a sudden. You can't explain it. You don't know why. As I said, it's a cause. And I began to think about it. I began to meditate on it. I began to do my research. Come with me to the book of Isaiah, chapter 3, 24 to 26. Isaiah 23, 24 to 26. Very quickly. Isaiah 3, 24 to 26. And so it shall be. Instead of a sweet smell, there will be a stench. Instead of a sash, a rope. Instead of well said hair, baldness. Instead of a rich robe, a girdle of sackcloth and brandy instead of beauty. Brandy instead of beauty. Listen, brothers and sisters, we all know the story of Tamar. Tamar was a princess of Israel. Princess of Israel. She was the daughter of David. <laughs> her brother decided to rape her because. She was attracted to him. And right after she raped her, she became a, 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 a foul smell. She was she decided to smell. Push her away, threw her away from me, want to get out of my life. She was rejected. <laughs> King Saul was the finest for the throne. He was picked among the people, the young people in Israel to be king. He became king, but after a short while, he was rejected and thrown away. He was destroyed. It would have been better for him not to even have become king. Foul smelling spirit. Lift your voice this morning. My father, my father. You're going to break. I come against every foul smelling odor in my life and in my family. I come against every foul smelling odor in my life and in my family. I come against the spirit of stinking, the spirit of stench, the spirit that will repair people. It's this is a destructive spirit. And you know you know that it's around you. Ah, lift your voice this one and I reject the cause of a smelly and stinking life. I reject the cause of a smelly and stinking life. In the name of Jesus, I come against it. Every evil spirit that will bring stinkiness into my life. Every evil spirit that will make me stink to my divine helper, to those 
to, to, with whom I to form relationship, every evil spirit that will bring that into my life, I reject, I renounce in the name of Jesus. My holy career, Gataka CKK, in my spiritual life, I reject. In my finances, I reject it. In my relationship, I reject it. In my career, I reject it. I reject every foul smelling spirit, the cause of stench. My putridness, I reject, I send it back. Limbo Kosiaga, the enemy cannot attack me with this spirit, this foul smelling spirit. In the name of Jesus, I break free this morning from the class of foul smelling odor. Foul, foul smelling odor, not my portion. My body, katika regada, my brukuli yagara. I shall not be you and dumb. I shall not be you and dumb. I shall not be you and dumb. In the name of Jesus. Makoni ragada, makuti, makati, ragadiaga, sike keni kalu opuriaga, machete kesige. I take my stand this morning. Ha! In the name of Jesus, I take my stand. I take every evil smelling odor, evil smelling uh, stench, stinkiness around my family, stinkiness around my home, around my life. Ha! In my workplace, people just reject you. People just just run away from you. You don't know the reason. Ha! This morning, Lebro Rigari Gatikari Ala Raga de Boziaglia, Shete Kesia, Lambrogo, Ah, Makoshian Kagazia. They're going to pray that the enemy will not suddenly turn your, your sweet smell into a foul smell. The enemy will not turn your sweet smell into a foul smell. The enemy will not turn your sweet smell into a foul smell in the name of Jesus. Naka Sigari and Regalaya. In Jesus, the precious name we have prayed. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Second Corinthians 2 15. Look at the Bible. Second Corinthians 2. The Bible says, For we are the sweet fragrance of Christ. <laughs> we are the sweet fragrance of Christ, which excels unto God. This venerable alike among those who have been saved, among those who are perishing. He says, We are the sweet fragrance of Christ. Lift your voice. Ha. I am a sweet fragrance of Christ. I am a sweet fragrance of Christ. I carry the fragrance of Jesus Christ in my spirit and in my body. I carry the sweet fragrance of Jesus Christ in my spirit and my body. I shall attract grace. I shall attract favor. I shall attract beauty. I shall attract love in the name of Jesus. I carry the fragrance of Jesus Christ in my spirit and in my body. I shall attract grace. I shall attract favor. I shall attract Beauty, and I shall attract love. I shall attract success in the name of Jesus. The Panto Casida, Raga, Tika, Sika, Ligidi, Mogroko Shinda, Put Yagaraba, the Procusinde, La Pragaziga, in Jesus' the precious name we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen. I pray for everyone on the platform this morning that none of us have experienced the smell of a dead animal. You will not experience the smell of a dead animal. You will not be categorized as a dead animal in the name of Jesus. Ha! Your beautiful life shall not suddenly become ugly. I pray for you this morning by the power and the blood of Jesus that your beautiful life shall not suddenly become ugly. Ha! Le koti kasiaga. Satan shall not turn your glory into shame. Ha! The enemy shall not turn your glory into shame. I said that. Uh, uh, Satan will not turn your glory into shame in the name of Jesus. You will stand as a fragrance of Jesus Christ and you will impact nation. You will live an impactful life. You will not be rejected. You will not be an, an outcast. You will, not be, you, you will not be cast away in Jesus. Precious name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Miracle worker. Come on. Miracle worker. Come and do your miracles. Miracle today. Come and do a miracle. Very good today, miracle worker. Oh, yeah, the miracle worker. Come and do a miracle, miracle today. Come and do a miracle, miracle today. Yahweh, your name is Yahweh. You're the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. I say Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. You're the miracle working God. Your name is Yahweh. Say to God, someone here and here in my spirit has become addicted to prescription drugs. 
You have become addicted to prescription drugs. You cannot do without just taking prescription drugs, just asking for more and more and more and more. We pray for you today that God will set you free in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Someone else has become addicted to painkillers. You just take a painkiller. Any supposed to be painkiller. Painkiller, painkiller. You're not going to be paracetamol, uh, panadol. Painkillers will set you free today in the name of Jesus. God is saying, come on to me and I will sustain you. Ah, you cannot depend on all this anymore. God is calling you and pulling you out of dependency on these drugs. I pull you out in the name of Jesus. God said, I will heal you. Don't depend on any medicine for your source now. Come to me. This morning we pray for you by the power and the blood of Jesus. No more prescription drugs will hold you bondage. No more take it out will hold you bondage. God set you free. Totally the blood of Jesus set you free in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. We're going to the second prayer point. Now get ready because we have just laid the foundation. God is about to heal some people today. Faith is what you got to stretch out in faith. Engage the power of your faith this morning with this prayer that we're praying. And you will see a turnaround. Because our God is not a man that will lie, not like it's not a man that he will repent. What he said he will do, certainly and surely he will do it. Listen to me. We are praying, lose me and let me go. This morning, lose me, let me go. Let's go to the book of Luke 13, 11 to 13. I'm reading from the AMPC version. Luke 13, 11 to 13, very quickly. Luke 13, 11 to 13. The Bible says, Luke 13, 11 to 13, AMPC version. And there was a woman there who for 18 years had had an infirmity caught by a spirit, a demon of sickness. She was bent completely forward and utterly unable to straighten herself. She was unable to straighten herself up or to look upward. She was bent down. And when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said to her, Woman, you are relieved from your infirmity. Then he laid his hand on her, and instantly she was made straight, and she recognized and thanked and praised God. Hallelujah. This woman had been attacked. She was under the attack of one spirit of sickness that had made her, her, her backbone to be bent, and she was she was walking to the such that she couldn't even rise up. Hey, spirit of a foul spirit of sickness. This spirit held her captive until she came into contact with Yeshua, the healer. You are coming into contact with Yeshua, the healer, this morning. Jehovah Rapha. He spoke the words of healing, laid his hand on her, and immediately she received her healing. Poti Kania Graga, Lepo Kusia, Psalm 41, verse 3. Psalm 41, verse 3. The Bible says, The Lord will sustain, refresh, and straighten him on his bed of language. All his bed, all his bed, you, O oh Lord, will turn, change, and transform in his illness. The Lord will sustain, refresh, and strengthen him on his bed of languishing. All his bed, you, O oh Lord, will turn, change, and transform in his illness. I'm going to lift up this morning. My father, my father, whatever spirit of sickness helps, help me down. Whatever has been the spirit of sickness, illness, foul spirit of infirmity, this morning I come to the attention of the healer. This morning I come to the attention of the healer. Every pollution in my blood, I want you to be crying to the Lord this morning, pray. Every pollution in my blood, the blood of Jesus will nullify your power. Whatever is a pollution in my, in my body, Every pollution that is in my blood, or even in my body, the blood of Jesus will nullify your power. In the name of every poisonous cell in my body, ah, this morning I receive healing. Every poisonous cell that is in my body, this morning I receive my healing. Blood of Jesus cleanse me. Every organ, every organ, every organ in my body. Every organ in my body, the blood of Jesus cleanse. Every organ in my body, the blood of Jesus cleanse. I break loose from every covenant of sickness. Moketa Kasikidi, I break loose from every covenant of sickness, illness, infirmity, paralysis of the body. I break loose this one from every covenant of illness, sickness, infirmity, paralysis of the body. 
I break loose this morning. Every paralysis of the mind, paralysis of the spirit, I break free in the name of Jesus. I withdraw my name. I hope you are praying this morning. I withdraw my name from the, from the book of death. I withdraw my name, my family's name, from the book of death, from the book of destruction. I withdraw my name. I withdraw my name. I take my name away. I withdraw my name from every spirit of death, every spirit of destruction. I withdraw my name. I withdraw my family's name in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I withdraw our name. I withdraw our name from every spirit of death and destruction. Every pollution in my body. The blood of Jesus nullify your power. Every personal cell in my body, the blood of Jesus nullify your power. I am here. I receive blessing by the blood of Jesus. Arrows of deliverance and restoration locate me. I receive my healing in the name of Jesus. I receive my healing, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Book of Malachi, chapter 4, verse 2. Malachi 4, 2. But to you who fear my name, the song of righteousness will rise with healing in his wings. <laughs> the song of righteousness will rise with healing in his wings and shall go out and go fat like stone fed calves. You will go out, you will go fat like stone fed calves. You will not, you will not, no longer lie upon the bed of illness, on the bed of languishing. I pull you out of that bed this morning by the power in the name of Jehovah. Wherever I see your body, that God has not planted there, we, 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 we pull them, we scatter them in the name of Jesus. Total healing, complete healing. I'm going to pray this morning. Fibrous, leave my body. Lose me, let me go. Apartation, leave my body. Lose me, let me go. And China heart tremor, lose me, leave my body, let me go. Glaucoma, lose me. Leave my body. Let me go. Hepatitis. Hepat whatever is hepatitis A, hepatitis D. Today, the blood of Jesus will cancel your power. In the name of abdominal pain, leave me. Let me go. Anxiety, leave me. Let me go. Arthritis, no longer my portion. Leave me. Let me go. Asthma, oh, I got chakas here. Get out of my land. Bipolar disorder, makoti kasi I am healed. Bladder issues, I am healed. In the name of Jesus. Binge eating, I am here. Oh, like a tuka ziga, cancer of every kind. I curse you to your root in the name of Jesus. I too much dry out this morning in the name of Jesus. Chest infection, chronic pain, no longer my portion. I cancel your power in the name of Jesus. Constipation, depression, I will no longer be, be depressed. I cancel depression. I cancel epilepsy. Epilepsy, get out. I am where I am strengthened by the Lord. Gastroenteritis, no more my portion. The car to cause the other. Headaches, disturbing me daily, no more. Today, I will hear you no more. I will hire about you no more. Liver and kidney disease. I am healed. I am healed. I receive healing. No more liver and kidney disease. Walk after God. Every de debilitating disease. I cast in your power. I will live long according to the word of the Lord. Every lupus, whatever is lupus, you are not my, you are not in my life anymore. I reject you. I cut you away. I send you over. Tonsillitis, no more in my life in Jesus' name. Every Spirit of diabetes, every issue that is diabetes, in KICC and all our family and friends, diabetes disappear, 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 diabetes disappear in the name of Jesus. We receive healing this morning in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. La Prakusigada, we thank you for total healing of body, mind, and spirit. Let somebody testify that they call upon the name of the Lord, Jehovah. And he healed them. They call for the blood of Jesus and they call, came to their aid and, and set them loose and set them free. In the name of Jesus. Every illness, every sickness, known and unknown, let it begin to get out and dry up this morning. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen. Brothers and sisters, we're not going to pray. As we are beginning to run up, we begin to run up. Supernatural outpouring. This month, the senior pastor of our church, AICC, says this month is the month of all 
not stop people progress. <laughs> so there's going to be supernatural outpouring. And outpouring is a wave. It's an outflow. It's an abundance. Outpouring. Isaiah 44, verse 3. The Bible says, Isaiah 44, 3. For I will pour water on him who is thirsty and flood on the dry ground. I will pour my spirit on your descendant and my blessing on your offspring. Zechariah 10, 1. Zechariah 10, 1. The Bible says, As the Lord for rain, in the time of the latter rain, the Lord will make flashing clouds. He will give them showers of rain. Grass in the field for everyone. Psalm 105, 41. Psalm 105, 41. Open the, he opened the rock and water gushed down. He ran in dry places like a river. Open the flood, water gushed down. Every dry place in your life. You have come to the Lord this morning. You have come to the mountain of God. You have come to Mount Zion. That is the dwelling place of the king of kings. You will not return empty-handed. Every dryness in your life, go pour water. You will become like a flood. That will be over. It will overwhelm you too much. You will be given away. Given away. Outpouring, supernatural outpouring. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says, Malachi 3, 11 says, and I will rebuild the devourer for your sakes. You have been working and working. They can't see the money. They can't see, see they have no savings. They have no asset. They have nothing to show. I will rebuild the devourer for your sakes so that it will not destroy the fruit of your ground. Nor shall the valley fail to bear fruit for you in the field. Say the Lord of all. God says he will rebuild the devourer for your sake. And, will not, and the devourer will not destroy the fruit of your ground anymore. 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 Supernatural outpouring. Supernatural outpouring. Father, pour out your blessings. Father, pour out your blessings. Begin to pray. Father, in my life, pour out, pour out your blessings. No more dryness. No more scarcity. No more dryness. No more scarcity. Ah, Lord, let there be unstoppable supply. Unstoppable supply. Unstoppable supply from the east, from the west, from the north. And the south, from the east, from the west, from the north, and the south. Let the blessings locate me. Unstoppable supply in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, this month, this year shall be for you, year of uncommon miracles. You have brought it into the year of uncommon miracles. I pray for you, you will receive health. And you receive wealth from the Lord. You receive health. You receive wealth from the Lord. As you trust in the Lord during this season, He will fulfill your expectations and even it will exceed your expectations in the name of Jesus. Abraham's blessings will locate you. Galatians 3 14. I said, Abraham's blessings, they will locate you. Ha! Abraham's blessings are mine. Abraham's blessings are yours. Receive it. As you delight yourself in the Lord, He will expect. You, your, your territory will be expand, expanded. Your territory will expand. It we will explode into great things, great wealth, like a tree planted by the river. Everything you do and whatever you touch shall prosper. Everything you do, whatever your hands touch, they shall prosper. Every hindrance against your joy, every hindrance against your peace, every hindrance against your blessing, defeated for your sakes. Every hindrance cut away in the name of Jesus. Every force of limitation fighting you will weaken the power. Weaken the force of limitation. Every force that's a limitation that are trying to pull forward, something is repelling you. There's a wall of limitation. We pull them down, weaken their power in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, from this day, he becomes the Lord of your finances. He becomes the Lord of your life. He becomes the Lord of everything that belongs to you. In the name of Jesus, you will never ever lack. You will make all grace abound to you. And you have sufficiency in all things. The grace of Jehovah will have been in your life. Sufficiency in all things. I pray for you, Proverbs 13, 22. The Bible says that the wealth of the sinner is laid up for you. The wealth of the sinner is laid up for you. The wealth of the sinner is laid up for you. The little that you do, God, God will expand it. God will add his capacity to the little that you are able to do. I pray for you that your calling shall not be wasted. Your calling will not be wasted. Any foundational power working against your calling your, and your destiny will destroy this morning in the name of Jesus. No more foundational power shall be able to stop you. Every yoke working against your spiritual growth in your life will break them. We break every yoke working against your spiritual power growth. Every power 
yoke, burden, limitation, attack against your spiritual growth. We break their backbone. We nullify the power in the name of Jesus. I pray for you by the power in the name of Jesus. The enemy will not transfer your anointing. I say, by the power in the name of Jesus. The enemy will not transfer your anointing. <laughs> the enemy will not transfer your anointing to your neighbor. And the enemy will not make you a bad example. The enemy will not turn your glory to shame. He will not make your family a bad example. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> Every area of incomplete deliverance in your life. So people have been held down. They have not been delivered in this way. Delivered in every area of incomplete deliverance in your life. Let it be complete. Let it be complete. Let it be complete. In your finances, complete deliverance from lack and poverty. In your health, complete deliverance from ill health. In the name of Jesus, we believe God that as we rise from this mountain, as we leave this mountain, testimonies will break out. Ah, because the power of God is beginning to work in somebody's life like never before. We believe it. And it come to pass in Jesus' name. I pray supernatural breakthroughs in every area of your life. Spiritual, supernatural breakthrough. Financial, supernatural breakthrough. Physical, mental, marital. Even in your marital, supernatural breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. In your family, supernatural breakthrough. Somebody can do this. You are here, man, now. House, 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 house. You're praying to the Lord for your own house. You're believing God for the keys of your own house. I agree with you. I agree with you. Before the end of this year, just as God promised us, 10 houses, 10 marriages, 10 cars, 10 babies, they are coming. They are coming. We are receiving by faith. In the name of Jesus, we are receiving. Psalm 11514 says that the Lord will increase you more and more. <laughs> Unlimited increase. The Lord will increase you more and more. I pray supernatural elevation. God himself will lift you up. From this day forward, you are lifted. Psalm 33 says, But you, O Lord, are a shield for me. My glory and the one who lift up my head. God will lift your head. Jehovah will lift with your glory, the one who lift your head. This morning, don't go with the understanding that your head cannot be kept down. <laughs> no way. The enemy cannot keep your head down anymore. That, that yeah, you're going to walk tall. Walk tall and be who God has called you to be in the name of Jesus. So it is permanent. Somebody says it's permanent. It shall be permanent. Eh? It shall be permanent. What the Lord has done for us. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. What the Lord has done for us. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. It shall be permanent. What the Lord has done for us. It shall be permanent. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May the Lord make his faith to shine upon you. May he lift up his countenance upon you. And as your prayer, this morning, the Lord hear you. Amen. Gather on the mountain. Receiving the blessing of the Lord, I'll make you rich and have no sorrow with it. It is well with you, well with your family. I'll see you next week, 9 a.m. Prayer. Amen. God is with you. Go ahead and flourish. Go ahead and prosper. It is way to Amen. 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 God bless Amen. you. Amen. 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 God bless Amen. you. God bless you. Thank you. Amen. 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 Amen.